It's Friday, the 10th of March, 2023, and Zer is back for the weekend in Destiny 2, so let's check out and see where Zer is. As you can see, Zer is in the tower, so land at the courtyard, go down the stairs, into the hangar. There you'll find Zer. Okay, let's check out and see what Zer has for us this week. First of all, we have the Cold Heart. That is a very good trace rifle and good interactions with Arc 3.0 build. So that is very, very good. For the Hunters then, we've got the Sealed Mkara Grasps. A 59 stat roll overall. Pretty good strength, good mobility. Wise, not great recovery or discipline there. For the Titans, we have the Worm God Caress. The 3 roll overall. That is pretty good. And then for the Warlocks, we've got the Calm Steam Armlets. Good strength on that. Plus 23. 62 roll overall. Not bad at all. Okay, next up, let's have a look at the legendary weapons. I can spy some decent weapons here already. So first of all, we have the Fire Fright. These are the Haunted. This is the fan favourite. Fluted Barrel. Alloy Magazine. Threat Detector. Focus Fury. We've got that very good origin trait there as well. Well, we've got the Disparity Outlaw and Headstone. That is very, very good. I think Zer is doing us a favour here. This one is a Stasis Kinetic Pulse Rifle, Arrowhead Break, Deadly Rounds, Outlaw, Headstone. Very nice indeed. Thank you very much, Zer, for that one. If you haven't got a good Disparity, definitely pick this one up today. Next up, Enigma's Draw. So this is a sidearm tactical SAS. Alloy Magazine. Full auto trigger system. An elemental capacitor. Not too bad at all. Next up, Under Your Skin. So this is another fan favourite bow from a couple of seasons ago. The Agile Bowstring. Fiberglass Arrow Shaft. Hip Fire Grip. Opening Shot. This is very good. Very good indeed. Couple of good weapons so far. Far Future. The Sniper, Arrowhead Break, Pended Mag, Quick Draw, Demolitionist. Not too bad for PvE, that one. Next up, we got the Blast Batu. Fine Launch, Trinity Grenades, Killing Wind, Rampage. That is pretty good for PvE. And finally, we've got the old classic Night Watch, Chambered Compensator, Tactical Mag, Subsistence, Rampage. That is a pretty good PvE roll. Well, if you pick up anything today, get hold of this disparity. Really, really good stuff. Next up then, we have the armor. So we've got the Righteous set. A very, very good looking set of armor. 62 for the gloves and the warlock. 59 for the robes. 62 for the helmet. 53 for the boots. Okay, let's have a look at the random rolled exotic weapons. So with Hawkmoon, we have opening shot. And Dead Man's Tail, we have Killing Wind. Well, good to see some new weapons on Zer this week. And it is, of course, the raid race today. So good luck if you are jumping in day one to the raid. I'm going to go and check out the raid race and hopefully Datto wins it this time. But, but you never really know. There could be another team who takes the gold. But good luck to everyone who's taking part. Really can't wait to jump in there myself. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching and for more Destiny 2 content like this. Hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. You can, of course, follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. Well, whatever you get up to in Destiny 2 this weekend, whether you're going to be raiding, whether you're just going to be jumping into some strikes or some crucible or some vanguard ops or some gambit, whatever you get up to, have a great time and I'll see you soon.